Natural Ways to Ease Asthma Symptoms Before we continue with the video, don't forget to kindly click the subscribe button below and click the bell icon below to be notified when we upload new material. If you have asthma, you know how important it is to take your medication. That often means using a long-term controlled drug every day and keeping a quick relief inhaler handy. But managing asthma isn't only about medication. You can do other things to help you breathe as freely and easily as possible. The best way to control asthma is to know your triggers and avoid them at all cost. Allergens, irritants in the air, smoke, chemical fumes, strong odors and perfumes can be triggers to make your asthma symptoms worse by exasperating your airways. Many people with asthma find warm air soothing. A steam bath in a sauna or your shower at home can help clear out mucus which can make it harder to breathe. Garlic and ginger have anti-inflammatory compounds that can ease your asthma symptoms. Add fresh garlic cloves and ginger root to your everyday routine. You can create teas by steeping either one in boiling water and drinking it, or you can use these spices more often in your everyday cooking. When you are stressed, all the muscles in your body tense up including the ones in your chest. Managing that tension may mean fewer asthma flare-ups. Meditation and yoga are good options. Research suggests that it can help control asthma symptoms in some people. Exercise can make your lungs stronger, but it can also be an asthma trigger, especially if you are out in cold weather. To stay safe, talk to your doctor before starting a new routine and ask if you should take medication before starting a new exercise routine. Also, make sure to start out slowly and gradually work your way up to avoid an attack and be mindful of the weather. Colorful produce is rich in antioxidants like beta-carotene and vitamin C and D, which help fight inflammation in your body, including in your lungs. While you are watching your diet, be careful with sulfites, a type of preservative that triggers asthma symptoms in some people. You will often find them in wines, dried fruits, pickles and shrimp. Many people are low in vitamin D, and people with severe asthma might be more likely to have this issue. Ask your doctor to test your levels. If you don't have enough vitamin D, milk eggs and bony fish like canned salmon can help. Your body also makes vitamin D when you are in sunlight. If you're vegan, fortified soy milk, rice milk, almond milk, orange juice and mushrooms have vitamin D. Vegans that are unable to get enough vitamin D from fortified foods and sunshine should take a daily vitamin D2 or vegan vitamin D3 supplement. Special breathing exercises can help your lungs operate better. Pursed lip breathing is one option. Breath in through your nose, then breathe out at least twice as slowly through pursed lips. Diaphragmatic breathing, also called belly breathing, is another useful technique. Cold or dry air can make your symptoms worse. When the mercury dips, you might drape a scarf around your mouth and nose to make it easier to breathe. Your indoor air matters too. A dehumidifier or humidifier can help make sure your air isn't too humid or too dry. Remember to keep windows closed and run the air conditioner during allergy season to keep pollen out. Extra fat around your chest and belly can make it harder to breathe, and fat cells can cause inflammation that may affect your airways. Cutting back on calories and fat and walking each day can help.